Young mothers are strong mothers. Not all women know that they're pregnant. This is Blaze's story. I'm Blaze Patterson and I've been living in Darwin, the Northern Territory, for 17 years now. And I'm currently studying my certificate two and three at Tremin College, which is about roughly 40 minutes from Darwin City. Tremin has been really flexible with helping me complete my certificate two and three in business, letting me come in to the school, sit in a class whenever I please, even bring Pippa and just join in and keep doing it externally. Oh, when I first found out I was pregnant, that was a, that was a bit of a story. Um, well, I had had a stomach ache one day just in the side here. Didn't know what it was, so I asked mum if she could run me down to the doctors and just get a normal check out. And got sent to the doctor and he was like, is there any chance that you could be pregnant? I was like, no, no. no. Turns out I was and oh, I cried. I cried like there was no tomorrow. Me and mum went and sat in the car for about 40 minutes. Just, she was just holding my hand and we decided, well, we'd go to the hospital in the morning, get an ultrasound, see how far along I was. I was nervous and oh, I kind of didn't want to know because I just didn't want to believe it still. Like, just didn't want to even acknowledge that I had a baby or I was going to have a baby. And then the head nurse came back in, the midwife nurse, and she sat down on the bed, held my hand, and she's like, so we're going to try and induce you either today or tomorrow. And I was like, oh, you know, probably tomorrow, just so I can get my head around it a little bit. And she's like, mm, mm, no, no, probably today, yeah. <laughs> we're thinking more today. And I was like, oh, all right. Yeah, started inducing me, and then how many hours was it? Mm, probably six hours, maybe. Six hours. But I didn't feel anything, so it was all right. Sisters got brought in. Dad didn't tell them what was going on, so they had no idea because I didn't tell them the night I found out or anything. So my sister came in and she's like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm like, I'm dying. And she's like, oh. I was like, no, I'm just kidding. I'm having a baby. She's like, no, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> she couldn't even tell she was pregnant. She didn't look Because I wasn't whatsoever. showing or anything, so you couldn't tell. <laughs> and then... um. Yeah, I wasn't sick or anything through the pregnancy, but so time like came where I had to start pushing and everyone left the room except for mum. Mum was holding my hand and then um, the nurse, was, the midwife was like, oh, I can see the head. And then she's like to mum, oh, do you want to look? And mum's like, yeah. I'm like, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> come back here. <laughs> mum started like calling around going, oh, so um. Blaze had a baby, and everyone's like, no, no, <laughs> she didn't. Everyone didn't believe her until yeah. they like, came in and saw it for themselves. And yeah, here we are six weeks later. <laughs> <laughs> I love being a new mum, but it's, it's challenging at times, like the opinions of um, elder generation where they, they think that you've, you've ruined your life, that you're not going to go anywhere because you have someone to look after and you can't stay in school when really you can, like I'm doing my certificate in business, and then maybe later on I'll do a bridging course into uni and go study law. But um, yeah, it gives you that incentive to become more successful and become something for her. She's, she's been doing an amazing job being a mother. I'm very proud of her. Like, yeah, it's a big challenge and she's, you know, taking up the responsibility and yeah, she's doing really, really good because it doesn't stop you from doing what you like or what you want to do to achieve in life, so go you. <laughs> You're a champion, sweet. I'm so proud of you. Mm -hmm. and, and thank you, thank you very much. Oh, I always here for you, kiddo. <laughs> Blaze didn't get to attend childbirth education classes before her baby arrived. But there are groups in your area you can attend. Call 8922-6933 or contact your nearest hospital. Young mothers are strong mothers.